Repentance is a profound theme within the scriptures, emphasizing a return to God and a renouncement of sin. This video explores Bible verses about repentance, delving into the profound wisdom and divine guidance found in the King James Version of the Bible. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. This verse emphasizes the importance of humility and prayer in the process of repentance. It is a call to the people to turn away from their wicked ways and seek God's face. When individuals humble themselves, pray sincerely, and abandon their sinful ways, God promises forgiveness and healing. This healing is not just personal but extends to the land, symbolizing a comprehensive restoration that impacts all aspects of life. Acts 3 verse 19 Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Here, repentance is linked to conversion and the blotting out of sins. It is a transformative experience that brings about a refreshing from the Lord's presence. This refreshing is a renewal, a divine change that revitalizes the spirit, allowing individuals to experience God's grace and mercy anew. Luke 13 verse 3 I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Jesus' words in this verse are a stark reminder of the consequences of not repenting. It is a clear and unequivocal call to turn away from sin and seek righteousness. The warning is severe, highlighting the eternal implications of our choices on earth and urging a sincere return to God's ways. Proverbs 28 verse 13 He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. This proverb teaches that covering or hiding sins does not lead to prosperity or success. Instead, acknowledging, confessing, and forsaking sins lead to receiving mercy. It underscores the importance of honesty and transparency before God and the liberating power of His mercy when we come clean about our transgressions. Ezekiel 18 verse 21 But if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he hath committed, and keep all my statutes, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Ezekiel conveys God's willingness to grant life to those who turn from wickedness and adhere to his statutes. It is a message of hope and redemption, emphasizing that it is never too late to turn away from sin and embrace righteousness. God's mercy is available to all, regardless of past transgressions, if they choose to live according to his laws. Acts 17 verse 30 And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now come in death all men everywhere to repent. This verse from Acts highlights God's patience and tolerance during times of ignorance. However, it also emphasizes that God now commands everyone, everywhere, to repent. It is a universal call to abandon sin and seek God's ways, reflecting the global and inclusive nature of God's message of repentance. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. John assures believers of God's faithfulness and justice in forgiving confessed sins. This verse emphasizes the cleansing power of God's forgiveness, which not only pardons but also purifies believers from all unrighteousness. It is a reminder of the transformative power of God's grace and the newness of life it brings. 2 Peter 3 verse 9 The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Peter portrays God's patience and long-suffering, emphasizing his desire for all to come to repentance. God's delay in fulfilling his promise is not due to slackness but stems from his merciful nature, allowing more time for people to turn from their sins. It is a message of hope and an invitation to embrace God's enduring patience and boundless love. Mark 1 verse 15 And saying, The time is fulfilled, 
and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Jesus proclaims the fulfillment of time and the nearness of God's kingdom in this verse. It is a call to repent and believe the gospel, emphasizing the urgency and importance of accepting God's message. The proclamation is both a revelation of divine truth and an invitation to partake in the blessings of God's kingdom through faith and repentance. Acts 2 verse 38 Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Peter's words underscore the significance of repentance and baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. It is a pathway to the remission of sins and the reception of the Holy Ghost. This verse illustrates the transformative power of repentance, leading to a renewed relationship with God, marked by the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit. James 4 verse 8 Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. James encourages believers to draw closer to God with the assurance that God will draw closer to them. It is a call to cleanse one's actions and purify one's heart, emphasizing sincerity and single-minded devotion to God. This verse is a reminder of the reciprocal nature of our relationship with God and the transformative power of His presence. Revelation 2 verse 5 Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. This verse is a warning to remember one's initial state of grace and to return to the first works of faith and love. It emphasizes the urgency of repentance and the consequences of neglecting it. The removal of the candlestick symbolizes the loss of divine presence and favor underscoring the importance of maintaining a sincere and devoted relationship with God. Isaiah 55 verse 7 Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Isaiah conveys a message of hope to the wicked and unrighteous, urging them to forsake their sinful ways and thoughts and return to the Lord. It is a promise of God's abundant mercy and pardon, emphasizing His readiness to forgive and restore those who seek Him sincerely. This verse illustrates the boundless nature of God's love and His willingness to accept all who turn to Him. Romans 2 verse 4 Or despisest thou the riches of His goodness and forbearance and longsuffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance? Paul highlights the richness of God's goodness, forbearance, and long-suffering, pointing out that these attributes are meant to lead individuals to repentance. It is a reminder not to underestimate or despise God's kindness but to recognize it as an opportunity for transformation and renewal. This verse encourages a deeper understanding and appreciation of God's benevolent nature and its purpose in our lives. Matthew 3 verse 8 Bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance, John the Baptist's exhortation is a call to produce fruits that are consistent with repentance. It is not enough to merely profess repentance. It must be accompanied by tangible changes in behavior and attitude. This verse emphasizes the practical and visible aspects of repentance, urging believers to live out their commitment to God in their daily lives. Acts 26 verse 20 But shoot first unto them of Damascus, and at Jerusalem, and throughout all the coasts of Judea, and then to the Gentiles, that they should repent and turn to God, and do works meet for repentance. Paul's ministry involved preaching to both Jews and Gentiles about the necessity of repentance and turning to God. He emphasized the importance of doing works that are consistent with repentance, reinforcing the idea that genuine repentance is evidenced by a transformed life. This verse illustrates the universal and inclusive nature of the message of repentance and the transformative power of turning to God. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 10 For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death. Paul distinguishes between godly sorrow, 
which leads to repentance and salvation, and worldly sorrow, which leads to death. Godly sorrow is a deep, sincere regret over sin, motivated by love for God and a desire to align one's life with His will. This verse underscores the life-giving nature of true repentance and the destructive consequences of superficial remorse. Luke 15 verse 7 I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons, which need no repentance. Jesus illustrates the joy in heaven over a sinner who repents, emphasizing the value God places on each individual's return to him. This verse is a reminder of the divine rejoicing that accompanies genuine repentance and the incomparable worth of a transformed life in the eyes of God. Jeremiah 26 verse 3 If so be they will hearken, and turn every man from his evil way, that I may repent me of the evil, which I purpose to do unto them because of the evil of their doings. Jeremiah relays God's conditional promise to relent from planned destruction if the people turn from their evil ways. It is a message of hope and a call to repentance, emphasizing God's willingness to show mercy and change his plans in response to human repentance. This verse illustrates the dynamic interaction between divine justice and human responsibility. Hosea 14 verse 2 Take with you words, and turn to the Lord, say unto him, Take away all iniquity, and receive us graciously, so will we render the calves of our lips. Hosea urges the people to return to the Lord with sincere words of repentance, asking for the removal of iniquity and a gracious reception. It is a call to approach God with humility and contrition, offering praises as a symbol of gratitude and commitment. This verse emphasizes the power of sincere words in restoring the relationship between God and His people. May these verses guide your path to repentance and draw you closer to the divine love and mercy of our Lord. If you found this video enlightening, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting below. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, and may you continue to grow in faith and wisdom. Amen.